With Tropical Storm Elsa heading our way right now, many of you probably have a lot of questions about what the storm will look like and the impact that it could have here on our state. Yeah, absolutely. Many of you remember Tropical Storm Isaias last year and the damage that storm left behind. So we want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest right now. He's at the answer desk providing some insight into what we can expect this time around. All right, Bruce, we got a question for you right here. We want to start with our first question. A tropical storm can include a wide range of weather. So on what end of the spectrum should we expect this storm to be? All right, that's an excellent question. You know, a tropical storm of force wind begins at 39 miles an hour. Now, typically on a, a nice windy day, that's just an ordinary windy day, but it goes as high as 73 miles an hour. You get to 74, and that is a hurricane. All right, as far as uh, this storm goes, also, we're, we're thinking winds are going to be somewhere up around 50 miles an hour, so we're kind of in the middle of that range. It's not a powerful tropical storm, but still uh, strong enough that to may uh, be uh, 50 miles and our winds might be enough to produce some scattered power outages. All right, Bruce, next question for you here. Is there potential to see any type of damage like what we saw last year during Isaias? Is that a real concern here? No, it's going to be an all-out no on that one. Remember, Issa E has moved over western Connecticut, and it was a very strong tropical storm. So when a storm moves uh, near western Connecticut or to the west of Connecticut, we're on the bad side of the storm. The forward motion of the storm and the winds around it kind of add to the uh, potential for uh, wind damage. This time around, it looks like Elsa is going to be tracking over southeastern Connecticut, which puts us on the better side of the storm in terms of wind. However, we're still going to get a, a soaking rain and that's why we have those flooding concerns. Alrighty, we have one more for right now. Okay. We know uh, you guys were talking about this earlier in the weather center. When was the last time we had a significant tropical storm or hurricane make landfall here in our state? That is an awesome question. You know, we've had uh, Tropical Storm Isaias, we've had Irene, of course, we had uh, Superstorm Sandy, but the last hurricane to cross the Connecticut coastline was all the way back on September 27th in 1985 and that was Hurricane Gloria. All right. It's been a long right. time. Been a long time, but time goes fast. We know that for sure, Bruce. Thank you very much. We'll also okay. see you coming up again in a few minutes. Uh, thank you for joining us right now. We uh, have a lot of questions coming into oh, the yeah. newsroom right now, and we love getting them. Yeah, and a reminder, if you have any questions about Elsa, be sure to send them so we can maybe use them on the air here and ask Bruce about all that. You can do that by using the Channel 3 app. And stay with us for continuing coverage of Tropical Storm Elsa. You can join me with Bruce coming up tonight at 7 o'clock for a live Q&A session. He's going to have a lot of answers to all of your great, great questions that have been coming in all afternoon. Uh, you can watch that on our streaming news app. You'll find that on Roku, Apple TV, and 